In this video, you will learn how to use cloud logging to determine what caused a Google Compute Engine instance to unexpectedly reboot or shut down. With a few exceptions, most activities related to a virtual machine's lifecycle are automatically added to cloud logging in the form of an audit log. Audit logs are easiest way to gain insights about a VM's activities. When a VM reboots or shuts down unexpectedly, try doing the following. Select the VM that shut down or rebooted. In this example, the VM named My Instance shut down and rebooted unexpectedly several times in the last seven days. On the Logs section of the VM Details page, click Cloud Logging. Cloud Logging opens with a pre-built query that filters for the instance ID. Narrow down your dataset using additional filters. Select the Log Name drop-down menu and look for Cloud Audit Category, or search for Audit. Select the Activity and System Event Logs. Activity logs describe changes made to GCP resources, such as compute instances. System event logs describe events generated by Google systems. Narrow down the search to an approximate time frame when the VM reboot or termination occurred. In this example, we know the shutdown occurred sometime in the last seven days. Each cloud audit log entry displays a compute instances label that describes the method associated with a particular instance and which principal, otherwise known as a user or service account, was associated with that method. The following log entries are activities. Audited operations that cannot be executed instantly will run asynchronously and therefore may appear twice in the cloud logging results. The first entry represents the request itself, and the second entry represents the outcome of the request, such as, as a success or an error message. For example, this log entry illustrates that on April 4th, a stop instance method was issued to my instance by the principal user at example.com. Then, on April 7th, a reset instance method was issued to the same instance by the service account schedulerbot at example.com. The following log entries are system events. System events will always show system at google.com listed as the principal because these events aren't driven by direct user action. This log entry illustrates that on April 8th, my instance was shut down by the operating system. Note that operating system reboots are not tracked by the cloud audit logs. If the audit logs do not adequately explain why an instance was rebooted, then it was most likely caused by an operating system reboot. In that case, consider investigating the operating system logs for further clues. Finally, these two log entries logged on April 9th indicate that the machine was shut down due to a host error and was automatically restarted. Occasionally, there might be problems with the physical machine that hosts the VM. This is referred to as a host error and is indicated by the compute instances host error method, which means that the VM was terminated. Some examples of events that might cause host errors are physical hardware malfunctions, or a natural disaster that impacts the location of the Google Cloud Data Center. After a host error, the VM is set to restart automatically, which is indicated by the Compute Instances Automatic Restart method. To protect your applications and services from these potentially disruptive system events, Google has shared several best practices that explain how you can design robust systems in Google Cloud, use patterns for scalable resilient apps, and encourages using managed instance groups when appropriate. In addition, Compute Engine also offers live migration to keep your instances running during a maintenance event. There are two methods which might appear after a Compute Engine maintenance event. The Compute Instances Migrate on Host Maintenance method indicates that the Compute Engine used a live migration to keep your VM running during a maintenance event. Compute Engine live migrates your running instances to another host in the same zone instead of requiring your VMs to be rebooted. This allows Google to perform maintenance that is integral to keeping infrastructure protected and reliable without interrupting any of your VMs. Live migrations are enabled by default, except for VMs with GPUs, but this can be disabled under the availability policy of the particular instance. The Compute Instances Terminate in Host Maintenance method indicates that the live migration was disabled or is not supported on that particular VM, so the VM was terminated during the maintenance event. For more information on how to troubleshoot VM shutdowns or reboots, and a list of other common methods found in cloud logging, check out the official troubleshooting documentation with the link below in the description. Thanks for watching.